<laughs> Who's going to test this? I don't know. Are you going to test this, Jamie? No. Ben, <laughs> Ben's tested everything so far on the big line. Welcome back to the playground. We thought rather than start a video and explain what we're going to do, we've just got cracked on with it. So we've built this massive takeoff. It's the biggest lip I've built out of dirt in, I've got to think back, probably years. It is, isn't it? We've not built anything like that for so long. Oh, it's over eight foot tall. It's massive. It dwarfs everything else at this entire place. But don't forget, we're coming off of this landing from that epic section up top. This has been tested, it works perfectly. And all I got from Ben and Jamie after they jumped that hip is how fast they were going. And that's why a takeoff that big isn't only special and epic, but it's actually in demand. We need it. You can't even comprehend how big the landing's going to have to be. I can't comprehend what you two are gonna be thinking dropping into this <laughs> flying for the first time, not truly knowing what's gonna happen. But we have built the most legendary takeoff. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Jamie has worked his magic all around. Can I look at the back of it? So we cleverly built it into the hill. That saved so much Primo dirt, but this is almost 100% Primo. It's got a sheer back on it that looks like a bus shelter. <laughs> it's massive, isn't it? The deck on it's pointlessly big, but that allows us to potentially make it even bigger if we have to. But I'd say eight and a half foot is more than enough to send us to the moon. So we've done that so far. We're going to go into a really epic build lap soon because the landing that needs building in this video is going to take much more than a day. So I guess the next time I speak is going to be in two or three days time. But I want to just do a quick bit of maths and don't switch off. If you don't like maths, I'm going to give you a real honest, genuine application of why maths is so important, how we're going to apply it on this line. I'm going to work out exactly how high we're going to go out of that eight foot lip. Now it's always fascinated me that a skateboarder can start here on a half pipe, drop in with no engine, no pedaling, no form of accelerating other than pumping. And by the time they reach the other end of the half pipe, they don't only get up to the same vertical height, but they can actually get even higher than that. And we're going to use that principle here because we've effectively built our own mega half pipe. Although it's far from that, this landing has a height and that takeoff has a height. And when we ride down here, we're going to be accelerating, if, if not even pumping, to get even higher. So let's work out the minimum height we're gonna go in the air before we build that landing. So the way we're gonna do that is this. Here, we have a landing, which, excuse my upside down drawing. We're gonna represent like this <laughs> as a right angled triangle, okay? Now we're gonna measure, we know this length because we can measure it. It's the length of the landing, we call that X. And we need to find this angle here the average angle of this landing, which we're gonna call theta, okay? Now, because it's a right angle triangle, we can use trigonometry using that angle, that length that we know to find the unknown. This height, the vertical height of this landing. Is that a Y? I've done it backwards. Y. Yeah. <laughs> so let's measure the landing, let's find the average angle, and we're gonna work out the total vertical height of this that we're accelerating through. And then if we assume that we're gonna get back to that vertical height, if not higher, and deduct the eight foot takeoff, we'll work out the net difference, which is our air time, our vertical air, Actually, we could use a Silvat equation on the distance to work out air time, because we're only getting gravity as the opposing force against us. That's for another day. Let's do trigonometry. Kids at school who think it's wasted, use it every day. <laughs> Back you go, Ben, we've only got a 10 meter tape. Okay. So you have to do it in two. Mark where 10 meters is. Yeah, right there. Okay, mark that, coming down. Ah, ah. It's a huge landing with an unknown vertical height. <laughs> now go to the flat bottom of the bottom. It's that rock there, yeah? Okay, yeah. Go back to where the flat bottom is. Right uh, here? Yeah, how, how far's that? Uh, that would be a grand total of 14 metres, Matthew. No, it's not. Oh, total. T yeah, that's so why I said grand there. total, Matt. Thanks. Yeah, that's right. So, our known length, the hypotenuse of the triangle, is 14 metres. Now we need to find the average angle of this, which is going to be difficult to do without a huge straight thing. Maybe we'll just measure the angle halfway. That's going to be the average, isn't it? If it's yeah. a bit steeper above, a bit slacker below. And we should reduce our hypotenuse a bit because it's curved. We'll go at 13 meter hypotenuse. That's probably the average, isn't it? Yeah. 24 degrees Ooh. from the horizontal. That's our known angle, theta. Come over here, let's do trigonometry. <laughs> Step into my math studio. Man. Here's our landing, let's draw a new one. The other one was rubbish. Right angle triangle. We just measured that and we called it 13 meters, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is our angle at the bottom, 24 degrees, okay? So we know that angle, the hypotenuse, and we want to find y, which is the opposite angle, the opposite one to the angle. So for that one, you use sine. Sine of theta equals the opposite angle over the hypotenuse. So sine of 24 degrees equals the angle we want, which was y divided by 13. If you move the 13 across and up, 
13 times sine of 24 degrees equals the one we want. Put out my calculator on a phone. It's amazing you can do this on a phone these days. You couldn't yeah. do that when I was at school. <laughs> Flip it landscape. You've got the scientific calculator. Some people might not even know that. 24 degrees. Press the sine button. So sine of 24 is 0.4067. That's the number. We're going to times that by 13 meters. And we get our total vertical height of 5.2 eight seven six meters round that's two decimal places for the sake of the tape measure 5.29 let's call it 5.3 meters <laughs> that's how high we're falling from now 5.3 meters what's that in feet <laughs> don't ask me uh i'm actually gonna look at the tape measures to get it exact. step out here ben <laughs> pull it out to 5.3 there you go 5.3 how many feet 20.9 209? 209 inches. Inches? Yeah. Okay. I'm back into my math studio. The vertical height of our landing, which was just found, is 5.3 meters, which you said was what? 209 inches. Feet. Uh, 209 inches, inches high. Okay. Our takeoff is 8 foot high. 8 12s are 96. So that's a 96 inch takeoff. The net difference of that is 209, take away 96, which is 130. 13 inches I think we're gonna go 113 inches out of that takeoff which is just under 10 foot it's massive wow if you don't lose any speed but the speed you lose you make back four in pump based on what a skateboarder can do in a half pipe we should almost go 10 foot out of that loop. what's that in meters three point whoa two something like that maybe a bit more heavy wow I actually drive around in a math studio. Who's the real, real winner, school kids? <laughs> anyway, I've got to build a landing. Jamie's going to finish shaping this up. Mammoth build laps. Here we go. Huge. We've built bike park size jumps at the playground. We've done what we promised. We've now built a big line, haven't we? We've got the rollers, the armadillo, the right hip, which now has a name, the huge landing, and now this, a massive left hip. And now it has a landing. It looks epic, doesn't it? It's insane. It looks so good. The takeoff's finished, but the gap's really big. And the best thing about hips is you get the option of the gap to the inside edge and the gap to the outside edge. And that build lapse was... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that build lapse was epic. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. You just didn't even try to save it. I did because I didn't want to land on my shoulder. So I had to just take it to the back. Oh my 
<laughs> we built this out of clay and then Jamie was a legend and put Primo dirt up the sides in the back. He's been really busy. Now today's Sunday and I guess this side's collapsed over the weekend. So Ben didn't get any shots of it perfectly finished, but we're going to finish it because this video isn't over. Ben and Jamie need to test this hip. That's the most crucial thing. Without testing it, we don't know it works. We don't know I put the landing in the right place. I really hope I have. And that continuation of getting everything here perfect carries on. But I guess with margins of error, when you make jumps bigger, a 10% error actually amounts to quite a big thing. If you build a 20 foot gap and you're 10% out, you could chain the jump by half a bike length. So we need to make sure that you guys land in the right place, but you're not keen to test it, are you? Mm. Jamie's not here, it's his day off. He's at French lessons on a Sunday. <laughs> so he can't repair this, nor can he test it. But we have indeed recruited our very own stunt double, Jono Jones. Hey. An actual stunt double, he is my identical twin. And he was passing through and said, yeah, all right, I'll jump here. Yeah, I wasn't ready at all. Let me just go on that side. <laughs> You look so much taller than me like that. Um, <laughs> Jono has agreed to ride it for the benefit of Ben and Jamie so that if you see it done and he puts tie marks in the right place on this landing, you'll, you'll ride it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, Ben and Jamie will on it. But right now we need you to hit this. You've not hit any of the line. I don't think you've even been... Last time you were here, you left wet, didn't you? He's actually <laughs> done it! Oh my oh! God! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to... I actually haven't seen a lot of this stuff. I haven't seen this line. The quarter pipe's new for me. I've not been here in ages, so I went up to look at the rollers. Well, Matt was late this morning. There's a lot to see. It's actually awesome what, what you you've think? all done. It's so impressive. Don't Big shout out to Jamie me. as well for the hard work. I guess the unknown is, when you land at the top of that landing, are you going to build an insane amount of speed? Is the ground slightly soft throughout? Are you going to pump? Are you going to break? It's very big. Get up there. Well, I don't have my own bike. You're going to ride mine. <laughs> As it's the mountain bike YouTube channel, the best brands are only available. You can ride the Marin Alcatraz today, do you want to? I might go and get mine. Do you want to try and one bang the whole thing? I've not ridden. This is. got nine rollers, the four camels on the dromedary, the armadillo. That right here, Ben and Jamie Grease, they got it perfect, so you should too. Do you know what a dromedary is, Johnny? I watched the video, so he does. Yeah. But you didn't know before? No, That's what I no thought. one did. Did you know though? You of actually knew it. Yeah. How? You literally learn it so young in school and Yeah, France, you get a dromedary sticker with your baguette at the morning, don't you? Yeah. Well, they're wild down there, aren't they, in Paris? In Paris. <laughs> the bars are so short. <laughs> You'll have to go faster than that. <laughs> I don't know if I can ride this. Why? Because the bars are so narrow. It's like a, an elephant stood on one of those little podiums because everything's so short and in. <laughs> he's really worried that he's not used to the bike, so he has to ride the main line first, which I think is fair enough. Okay. <gasps> I'm not used to this. <laughs> I think it's in your head. No one would ride that bike like that. Did you see how he took off? <laughs> really weird. That's so odd. It looked like a it? nolly. I know. <laughs> Do I make you look like you're having fun? <laughs> Yes. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> what a clown! Delete all of that! <laughs> it's twice so cross. Did you say delete all of I that? I think so. Nope. No, it's in. <laughs> Every time. Sorry, everyone. I promise I used to be good. Oh, God. Now look up at that jump compared to all of this. It dwarfs everything, doesn't it? It's a proper, proper feature, a bike park sized almighty hip. But I love that we've built a variety of things now, so the playground is better for playing. Shame I'm not involved again. <laughs> Can you jump that now, please? He's worried he can't see the face of the takeoff, which is half true, but it's not. I mean, we can all see it, can't we? It's Can we set one of the vans up? No, we're not shining headlights at it. But you can't get your timing right. I can't even get my timing right on the main line. You could have ridden the main line blindfolded and it would have looked better than what we just saw. Just ride, ride up to it then, please. Christmas is coming, you have nothing to open for me. You're not going to come here for another six Again. months, so I don't really care what your experience is as, as long as you land on the landing for these guys and me. Oh, brotherly love. Oh, he's bombing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no words. Not very talkative. No. Do it, 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 do it. Oh. Why didn't you go for it? It's blooming massive. I actually had accepted I'm not jumping it by the time I set off, so I didn't really think. <laughs> Must be like looking in the mirror with the, like style and stuff, same bike. Must be like, wow, that's like me riding. Yeah, to some degree. Like a 
drunk version. If I'm first to jump it, then can I name it? We'll put yours in the sorting hat. I'll name it after I jump it. It'll probably be called Spiral Humorous Fracture. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jono, come and test the biggest jump we've built at the playground. No, it doesn't matter you've not ridden a hardtail for months, does it? No. Just ride mine, it's three inches long. Compared to this bike, that jump's 12 bike lengths. Oh, onward, Godspeed. Come, come. Over the camel, over the hip. Oh! Oh! <laughs> You're right, yep. Whoa! I wasn't gonna clear it. You went that was high cool. and it looked big. You went high, that's the best. That was big. That's the best playground feature. I was just imagining oh it then. He was really above my head in the sky. Yeah. Look where my knee sits. I think you need to go a bit higher on that here and actually like put a little pump in in that bomb hole. I'm actually excited to watch you jump this. It's a very good jump. Can you at least make Ben excited to test it? Yeah, because I'm not, not so keen right he now. He doesn't look thrilled. <laughs> Do it for me, Jono. Ali? This is the one, work for it, work! Oh, yes! That was sweet! So Dude, sick! Not quite smooth, <laughs> but you went really big. That's proper air time, isn't it? Yeah. There's a bit of soft ground sick. here. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, I don't think that amounts to loads. I just want you and Jamie to have ridden it before the rain comes. So this is, that was a successful launch mission. Passage. What does it feel like having that big of a landing before? Really fun. Oh, I reckon yeah. if I didn't have this bra on, I could jump. I just want to break out of my cage, you know? <laughs> I'm the peacock, you've got to let me fly. I think peacocks are a fairly flightless bird. They can fly, but they don't spend a lot of time showing off in the sky. I'll tell you what, if I clear it, I'll have to go a lot bigger. I'm going to rip it like a strip of Velcro. Get it, mate. Whoa! Yo. <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm going to put a couple of bucket loads of dirt on the landing. I think the landing could be higher. Mm. And in being higher, are you going again? We'll try again. Oh, good man. I thought you were going to One more? That's what they always say. Oh. <laughs> One more run? I am going to swing a couple of bucket loads up on top. If that landing went up a foot, it would also go back a foot, right? Yeah. Because it's 45 degrees. So that would kind of make the landing potentially shorter and be a bit more of a cushion from not coming down as high. Are you confident to hit it or really unsure? Ish. I'll yeah. do it, but I won't be that. You actually seem like more of a dirt jump guy than him at the minute. He's not having... Yeah. I mean, he's not riding his bike. That's, that is a thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's like getting in someone's car and having to handbrake. I don't know. That analogy was never going to work. No, but it's okay. We get it. Thanks. It's like... Okay. Here we go. Yeah. It's like trying to call someone's dog when you don't know its name. <laughs> yeah. It's like a better example, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Go on, mate. That's it. You're bombing. Go on, Jono. Oh, he pedalled. Did he? Did yeah, he pedalled down. Oh, he well, I've, pedaled. Got, I've got a day. Thank you, John. I honestly thank you for showing us how it rides. I've got a day to make some subtle changes for you and Jamie tomorrow. But thank you, mate. I really I th wouldn't change much for my example. You know? I know. That's what I'm thinking. I don't I've think not been very confident. I think if anyone that wasn't pest. a melt would just jump it fine. <laughs> An old clippo in the sun. Well done. I hope you have a good bargain bucket day for lunch. I do too. <laughs> and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Thanks for having me. I am nervous for you boys. We're nervous for ourselves. <laughs> biggest dirt jump you've ridden? Probably, definitely. It's the biggest dirt jump we've built, right? With the biggest run up as well. And actually so much, yeah true, the landing's huge, but so much has gone into this. That's why it feels really important for you guys, having built it, that it works. Because that's probably the third variation of the landing. Look how big it is now, it's so stepped up. I'm, I'm really jealous, I have to say that, I keep feeling unbelievably jealous. But also quite inspired to see you ride it so I can imagine what it's going to be like. That takeoff has had so many kind of, yeah, attempts at making it perfect. We didn't include it in the build laps. But we've dug out that entire takeoff with the digger all the way down to the clay and redone it just to get the shape better. Mostly so it looks perfect and you guys feel more confident, right? It's so what? It's true. So we're just having a conversation Sorry. about how scared we are. Yeah. It's, we've been staring at it for over a week. That takeoff's been finished for a week. It's not oh man, smaller. it's so much more stepped up than when Jono did it, which I honestly make, make it feel safer for me. I mean, the fact that Jono is a qualified athlete, yes, with a beer belly, but still, and that he was so dodgy on it is what scares me the most. You're really useful for making jumps look big. Go and stand next to it, please. 
As much as I'm nervous, I'm excited. It'd be such an achievement for you both to test and ride a jump that we've built. It was always me, wasn't it? And that was fine. When we went to Barcelona, you followed me. Everywhere we've been, I've kind of helped guide you through it. But you're so, everyone in the comments knows how good you both are. And I know before I turn the camera on, we've been stood here an hour waiting for the sun to move. But I think it's time. You can both do that jump. It's such a cool looking feature. If you take off dead center, Aim for the middle of the landing because we've moved it effectively back by making it taller. There's less distance to fall. Jono bailed. Ignore what Jono did. This is your playground, chaps. Go and warm up up top. Hit the rollers and you might just have a feel for it. Last time I'd chime in, honestly, you need to jump that hip well and absolutely not break. Like, That's the thing, we haven't even jumped that hip well yet. We you both jumped it fantastically. You need to speed tuck down here and take off. What you're thinking now is actually so sick. It's the best feeling because you'll overcome it in a minute and you'll feel like a champ. Mm so scared and you right. take what you have now and just turn it into fuel because when you ride away from that jump it will honestly feel so good and all the digging jamie it's been you that's built that all that primo around that landing is you and we take our hats off to you and everyone takes our hats off Massive to you graft. thank you proper grafter now go and jump the thing please make it worth it jameson yes, are you scared i'm scared i'm really scared <laughs> i need some toilet paper <laughs> <laughs> gonna try ride the hip a few times yeah. just get used to that again yeah. Yeah, they rode it once, didn't they? No, no, in at the deep end every time. I'm actually scared of that hip again, the little one. Oh, soft. Yeah, Ben. Oh, yeah, Ben. Oh, my yeah, God. Ben. Oh, my God. Whoa, that is, that feels massive. <laughs> it looks big. It looks massive and feels massive. That's what she said. Hi, dude. Hi. Go on, dude. Powerhouse. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jamie. Oh. I wasn't sure if he was going to go for it. The craze ended up. How's that brake working for you, mate? Absolutely terrible. Look at this place. Look at this place from here. Absolutely terrible. Weight will be to your advantage as a heavy lump. You probably will carry a little bit more speed down here than Ben. No beer belly like Jonathan though. Jono has air resistant though. His his weight is factored into width. Volume. volume. Yeah, he has volume. Yeah. Low density, high volume. <laughs> yeah, it looks so cool and fast. I guess you're scared, but as a sta as like a standby viewer, it just looks so sick to be bombing into a lip. Okay. Best. Brilliant. That was looking good, dude. Oh. <laughs> he does hit the chin. Yeah, he does. You're making contact, big man. Come on, Ben. You got this, mate. Yeah, dude. That's lovely. Yes! Oh my god! Yeah mate! What a oh. first run! I'm sorry Jamie! What a first run though! Good for you! Bro, the lip's soft today. Are you good? I sat on my wheel. Where? On Very the case? Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's bad. Okay, that landing looked a little slow, but you rode it like a boss. You rode the whole line so good. Did my back wheel literally land like in the... Oh yeah, I just... I, that yeah, was, like, do you see that soft mark? More than 50-50 case, isn't it? Jamie, did you see him? From there. Try and get as much speed out of the hip as you can. Lovely. I almost can see his extra weight down there, but he... Goes faster. He, yeah. You are digging in on this hit. That's a bad bit. That's where you need to be landing on rock hard ground. Yeah, Ben. Yes. Yes. Whoa. What a bail. You are so high. You look great. Whoa. Yeah, man, you're crushing it. That was stress. You reduced the case, that was much better. I Get it, Jamie, come on. Look, it is soft, but Ben's doing really bizarre calves. At one point, he's actually turning right, which I don't understand why. If anything, he should come in wide. I don't know, it's just unusual to do an S-bend up the lip. That can't help, and it's soft. That's his case from the first run. The second run was on top, so there's progress. Massive progress. <laughs> Whoa! Mate, you are right. You good? Yeah. You good? Oh my god! Whoa! You are, you are tough. You are right? Yeah. You just warm-rided it, bro. <laughs> Mate. 
Oh. Yes, dude. Look how far that you was fell. So short. Look how far you fell. You were up went there. So high. <laughs> Maximum playground airtime. Carve a chunk out of the side of it. Where his bike is. Why was it over there? Oh no, man. Are you okay? Honestly. Yeah, I'm all good. You sure? Yeah. Your knees feel alright. Yeah. You did just skyrocket out the lip, then <laughs> right back. Which is fine, you hit the lip and you owned it and you had the confidence to go off the takeoff, that's a massive start. But the fact you were so far over inside is alarming. Yeah, Ben! <laughs> yeah, Ben! Yes! <laughs> Oh, no. Such a concentration of biking over here and nothing here. Which does bode the question, although it's soft and there has been rain, we may have built it wrong by a margin where most jumps would be fine, but on this gap it's not. Oh, I That's felt perfectly so good coming over the hip. It looked cool. You looked like you were like motivated, up for it, committed. I like, raced it. I was like, oh, this is it. I've got speed now. Of all your runs, that was the one where you were in the, the most crusty position in the air, dude. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Ben. That was a pedal, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it will obviously make a massive difference. Oh, I know, but it's really unsettling. I know, but the speed difference will be night and day, but if it knocks your balance, then there's a lot to be said for that too. It is brand new, it is soft, but I think we've made it a foot too long. How do we fix that? Cut the lip shorter, because we've got all that deck to play with. Do the same on the landing. Add a roller halfway down the landing for speed. Dig the bomb hole like deeper earlier so it doesn't go up hill as early. Everything there are. Feels so nice. I know. Jono said the exact same. I mentioned adding a roller halfway down that huge landing, okay? And he said, I know that would add speed, but it just feels so epic bombing that landing. And Ben's just said the same. So I kind of want to leave that as is. So I guess the tweaks need to all happen here on the mega hip. Ah. Are you all right, dude? Ah. You okay, mate? Okay. You all right. You all right? Yeah. You, your bike landed on you, but I think the biggest thing was you hitting the floor. You all right? What hurts your wrist? Yeah, my hand. Did you fall back on it? Do you reckon at the bottom? Yeah. Is that the only thing that hurts? Yeah. Don't don't like test your wrist now. Nothing's going to change now, is it? Don't like force it. You spent half your day in the air. <laughs> in a massive pencil shape. <laughs> Good lad, you like bailing, don't you? Look where you ended up, and before that you were six foot above it, and then after that you were down there. Built from tough stuff. This has been a quite a big milestone at the playground, hasn't it? Massive. We've potentially built a jump that doesn't really work first go, and it's the biggest of all, with the most risk, as Jamie's proved. And actually Jono proved, just Jono back crashed. He Jono crashed hurt. a lot down the other side of the landing. Yeah, I wouldn't mind if it was the other side of the landing. I get that. You've built two brick walls and you've fallen down both of them, which isn't what the average bricklayer does. Ben, are you going to knock it on the head? I'd personally like to just make it work for everyone and not watch you suffer. Yeah. Because <laughs> you've both done some sick jumps. You rode the top section of the big line so good. Like really, really good. There's no fault of anyone's that this is just marginally out. I did. I just realised because I wanted to try pedalling. Yeah. But Jono pedalled on his last one and okay. didn't get any further. Fair enough. So. Well, there we go. I'm pretty sure Jamie's fine. You are, aren't you? Yeah, I'm all good. So we're taking some chunks out of the new landing, but it's still there. It needs to be ridden to perfection. I kind of, kind of sorry that I've roped in so many test dummies, all of whom have crashed. <laughs> But at the same time, I'm kind of proud of everyone for just biting off more than they could chew and hitting this massive feature. <laughs> no one truly knew if it was going to work. We've been so consistent so far of making everything really perfect, honestly. It might be luck, it might be expertise, it might be a bit of MTB wisdom, but we came unstuck here on the biggest jump of all. So we kind of need to go back to the drawing board. I mean, I, I would love to have been part of the testing, but I can't say I'd have done any better. So <laughs> let's make it work for everyone, yeah? yeah? It won't take much, the hard work's done. Jamie, I reckon you need a bag of peas on that wrist. You do. <laughs> Not the first time, eh? Legends. Oh! Oh! <laughs> right. Yep. 